Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is a pleasure once again to come your way with the online pregnancy school. Now we have moved from the woman who is pregnant to the child. And we are going through various sessions that would help you as a mother, as a father, as a caregiver to provide the best care for your child. So if you haven't done that yet, kindly go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the notification bell and please share with friends and family. Share as widely as you can because we keep getting questions about some of the things that we have already discussed. And it's because these people did not know that we had discussed them previously. So please share the link with friends and family and invite them to also subscribe so that they can go back to the previous sessions, listen to them, and also join us in any of the new videos that will bring your way. If today is the first day you are joining us, my name is Dr. Linda Vanutu. I talk about reproductive health, maternal health, child health, in fact, family health. And we started from the woman. We've talked about pregnancy, many topics about pregnancy. There are still a lot to be discussed, but now we are talking about the child and very soon we'll move on to other people within the family. Welcome. Today I'm going to share with you about a very common thing that happens in children. For those who have had babies before, I'm sure in one or two of your children, you observe that it happened. And this is the oral thrush. I'm going to talk about the oral one. We can have the one that happens around the baby's bottles where we have the nappy rush and all that. But today I'm going to focus my discussion on the baby's mouth, what we see in the baby's mouth. Now the oral thrush happens in babies as they are being fed, you find that sometimes you have this whitish substance on the tongue, sometimes even in the, in the mouth, the cheek, and the top of the, the mouth, the roof. But usually it is seen on the tongue. And this is a fungal infection. It is caused by a particular fungus and it covers the tongue most of the time. It is whitish in color. And we want you to be able to differentiate between this one and the whitish covering on the tongue that is due to milk. It could be that the baby is breastfed or even bottle fed. And you can have this coating on the tongue, which is white. And it, is, it, look diff it looks almost the same as the thrush, but there's a difference between the two. The difference is that you can easily clean the milk. So if you take a piece of cloth, of course, with a very clean finger, and you try to clean the tongue, you find that that whitish covering will be removed. And that will show you that this is milk. But with the thrush, you, you don't clean it off easily. It doesn't go with that cleaning, just with an ordinary cloth. You cannot clean it off. And that will let you know that this is actually not the milk, but a fungal infection. Even though it's a fungal infection, in most of the instances, it is actually not that severe. It doesn't cause a lot of um, problems for the child who has a thrush. In a few instances, we can have other things happening. But in most of the children, when you see this on the tongue or inside the mind, it doesn't really cause much problem. So the child can continue breastfeeding or if the child is for any reason being bottle fed, the child can, can continue with the feet and nothing will happen. But in some instances, it needs to be treated. Now, one of the reasons why this happens is if the child has been put on antibiotics, or the mother has been on antibiotics. And it's because inside the human mouth, we already have 
some organisms that that is uh, could be bacteria that help us that are living with us and they do not cause any problems but if there's any reason why the environment changes then that can lead to infection so in the case of the fungal infection when somebody gets an infection and is treated with antibiotics it disturbs the the environment in which these fungal are and that means that the opportunity is created for them to overgrow so that is what happens that somebody is put on antibiotics and it deranges the system that the organisms are living in and give room to the fungi to grow and that is what can happen in a baby in some instances you find that the if this baby is on the breast sucking from the mother's breast then you find that it can also affect the the nipple of this mother and sometimes you can have cracks which will make it very painful for this woman so as we look at the baby we also look at the mother if there's any reason why the two of them should receive treatment then that should be done so that both of them are cured instead of one infecting the other the other getting you then the other <laughs> infecting that person again so that is what happens so generally it is a very common finding in babies and children but most of the time it is not complicated it is a simple thing that happens even though it will be treated it's a simple thing that happens and it doesn't affect the baby's life so to speak but if it is not managed well then of course it can lead to um complications so ladies and gentlemen today we are talking about oral thrush that's a whitish substance that we see on babies tongue now we've told you that the cause is from this fungi and also from the it could be from but because the person has had treatment for an infection has been on antibiotic and that has created the environment for this organism to grow in now if you have a child who has this whitish coating on the tank what can you do first of all you must ensure that the baby is feeding well if you find that this baby is not able to suck from the breast or from a bottle then you need to feed the baby with a cup so that the baby doesn't have to exert any pressure sucking because if the mouth is painful then as the baby sucks it becomes more painful and the baby would not be able to feed well because if you don't do that then this baby can become dehydrated that is the amount of water in this baby can go down and that will not be good for the child's health so it's important that you continue feeding this baby it's also important that you watch out for any other symptoms so if you find that there's blood coming out of the baby's mouth or the baby now is warm when you touch the baby you realize that the baby is warm or the baby is vomiting or there's anything wrong then you find that it is not just simple thrush which you don't have to worry about but it is something that you have to seek care for it's very important and if you also find that the mother's breast is now painful or cracked then you realize that she has to also seek care for that so yes it is a common thing it can be very simple but it can also have some infection superimposed on it or can cause the baby to not feed so well and this will not be good for the baby's health so please watch out for that now having known this and having known how to differentiate it from milk that has settled on the baby's tongue it's important to know how to treat it either at home or with hospital medication so if you are at home and you find that this has happened first of all you might try to clean it and see whether it will go off and people use different things to do this so i want to share a few with you but please be careful that as you try to clean you don't put your finger into the back of the baby's throat if you do that you can cause the child to vomit and this child can um, what we call aspirate the the vomit that is the whatever fluid is coming out 
can go the wrong way into the lungs and that is not good for the child. So as you try at home to see whether this is ordinary milk or it is the, the fungi that has caused that, please be careful. You do not push your finger to the baby's, uh, the back of the, the throat because that will be difficult for this baby. We don't want to do that. If you want to differentiate between the two, very simply, you can boil and cool water and you find a very clean cloth, handkerchief, something. And then you can wrap it around your finger and just clean, just gently, just try to see whether it will go off. If it goes off, then it is milk that has settled on the baby's tongue. So that is fine. If it is that it's um, the fungus that has done that, then there are people who have a lot of treatments for home care. And one of them is to use salt water. So just a little bit of salt with boiled cold water because the water has to be clean. And then you mix it up. When it is cool, cold, then they put either a swab or a piece of cloth, dab it in and gently clean the baby's tongue. That can be done. People do that. Please, if you are not comfortable with some of these things, do not do them because you have to try and not hurt this baby. But that is, I'm just telling you what some people do at home for treating this. I know that in some places, they also use other things. They, they use, um, some people will squeeze the tomato and use the tomato juice to clean the uh, baby's mouth. But whatever you are doing, please be mindful of the fact that this child is very young. The child is not as strong as you are. And therefore, you don't have to rub the baby's tongue because you might rather cause infection from any breaks that come about. And that would not be good for your child. So please do not do that. In some instances, they have other homemade solutions that they use. For example, they use grapeseed um, extract to do that. And it's said that some of these things work. But whatever you are doing, the hospital is available for you. To send your child to the hospital for proper assessment and treatment. But I'm bringing up this because some people do these things at home. Some people also apply what we call the gentian violet. But remember that that one would stain the baby's mouth, would stain your finger, it can stain your clothes and your, the nipple of the breast. So some people do that at home. And for some people, it works. They have found that these things have worked for them. Others, it has not been so successful. But I want to encourage you that if you have a child who has oral thrush, you are not sure what is happening, please take the child to the hospital. That is my, <laughs> my message for you. It is better to have proper treatment for your child than to be sorry. So please, if you find that your child has the oral thrush, this whitey substance on the tank, even if you are sure that this is smog, but you want to confirm, please take the child to the hospital. When you go to the hospital, they examine the baby and tell you that you can treat this at home or you can do this at home. Then, of course, you can continue at home. But please be careful. Now, with the hospital, what will be done for you is that this child will be examined. You see, that's the beauty of going to the hospital. When you go, you have an opportunity to talk about the baby in general. You don't just focus on the tongue. You can talk about anything else that is happening to your baby or even yourself so that the doctor can take care of that for you. So please, if you find that you have any issue, do not stay at home. Go to the hospital. So when you go there, they would examine this baby. They will look at the tongue and diagnose it, whether it is a fungal infection or it is the mouth that has settled on this baby's tongue. Then they will prescribe something for you to use. The prescription is something that works against fungal infection. 
So it could be a gel that they would give you to apply on the baby's tongue. And this is done also using a finger or using something to apply it gently. Please, again, even if this medicine was given to you at the hospital, do not put your finger or whatever you are using at the back of the throat because that can cause the child to vomit and aspirate. So whatever you are giving, apply it to the front, the front part of the tongue. Please do it that way. Do not push your finger back. Do not push the whatever application, applicator you are using. Do not push it back, please. So you apply that and you'll be told how many times to do it. But usually it is applied some minutes before the baby feeds so that any bitter taste that is in it would be washed out. And you don't want to also do it after baby, the baby has been fed because if you're not careful, you can stimulate the baby to vomit. So you apply it before the baby feeds, whether you are feeding on the breast or by bottle. So that is what is done. In other instances, they can give you drops. Instead of the gel, which you apply, they give you drops and they will teach you how to apply to the tongue on both sides so that it will spread on the tongue and start the healing process. So that would also be done for you. In some instances, they also prescribe some other medications which are called the probiotics. So they prescribe these things for you to help to build the baby's um, immunity to be able to um, fight this particular infection. So that can also be done for you. I have said that in most instances, it is um, medically we say benign. It is something that is not complicated when it, it happens. But if you do not do it the way you've been trained to do or taught to do at the hospital, then you can have some problems, especially if you apply something that is very, very sharp. Like even if you are using the salt water, you put a lot of salt in it, you apply on this baby's tongue, you can easily cause some abrasions or some little cuts on the baby's tongue. And that can lead to infection, that can lead to poor feeding. And the baby will be dehydrated, will have temperature, and that will be another story for you. If you are able to do this, then you find that the baby would heal within a very short time. But it's not just enough to go to the hospital once and that is it. After you have applied, whether it's the gel or the solution that they have given you, please continue feeding the child and take, be observant, look at the child, see what is happening so that you can send the child for review if you find that there's something wrong. So please do that. It is important. Now for the mother, as you continue to do this, do not say that my child has this fungal infection, so I'm afraid to feed the child. No, you can continue breastfeeding this child. You can continue giving the food that you have been giving to this child. If this child has been uh, on breast milk, you continue. If the child is on uh, baby formula or for whatever reason is on anything, you continue. If the child is a little grown, you continue with whatever you are feeding the child with. But remember that if this child has now been introduced to water, then you continue to give the child water to drink so that the child doesn't become dehydrated and would build the, the immunity as well. If you, as a mother, you develop the cracks or any source around your nipple, please also make sure that you get treatment for it so that um, you heal yourself and you don't reinfect your child. It will be very helpful for you to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm talking about oral thrush, which is a whitish substance that we see in the mouth of babies, usually on the tongue of babies. And um, I've told you what it is. It's a fungal infection and it can be very, very simple without any complications, but it can also um, be complicated if we do not manage this very well. I hope you have learned something new, especially how to treat it at home without affecting the baby negatively. Do not put your finger at the back of the baby's mouth. 
to say that maybe it is coming from the back. So I want to get everything out. No, you'll be harming your baby. And if you are using any of the home remedies, please be careful. But my counsel is that take this baby to the hospital and let the health professionals take a look at what is happening. It could even be that it's more than what you see so that they can give the appropriate treatment and give you also the mother the treatment that you require for you to stay healthy. Till I come away again with another topic in childcare, see you.